Hey guys, it's me, Sarah. This is just the seven of us, another vlog, and I know you're excited to see my face again because it's been so long. The reason for that mostly, well, two reasons, I guess. One is that I thought I was a super funny person and turns out I had like two vlogs worth of jokes, so I had to wait a while to think of a few new ones, things that I could do, and two, I don't want to say it out loud, but not much has been broken around here. Well, let me rephrase that. Nothing that I can fix has been broken around here. Um, I wish I could have recorded my sewer pipeline nightmare from our Airbnb over Christmas time, but um, mostly you would have seen me just panicking and trying to manage people that actually could solve that problem. There's nothing I could do to help fix that between vacuuming up all the sewage in the ba that basement, fixing the sewer line a few times and sneaking it out. So that was kind of a disaster, a uh, $2,000 disaster. But around here, like nothing's really been happening of interest. But today, well, last night my wife came home and said one of her headlights was out. So went down to O'Reilly's and all you have to do is tell them what make and model and year your car is and they'll help you figure out which headlight to put in there. I've done a couple of these on our old Suburban. I tried to do it on a Subaru, which turns out is impossible. Like basically only the dealer can do it because you have to take off like the entire front half of the car, um, which is ironic because it's, it's a lesbian car. We don't have one anymore. We used to, obviously, but makes it super complicated, which I guess makes sense. Anyway, the other complication factor today is that it's still freezing cold outside. It's in the middle of January, and this has been the coldest, snowiest Wyoming winter I've ever seen here in 20 years, which makes me really unlikely to want to even be going outside right now. But I have to go somewhere, so I'm going to attempt to put this in. I've never done one on our 2003 Honda Civic. So I'm just going to kind of try to look around and see. I did watch part of a YouTube video last night to see how hard it was. It doesn't look like it's any harder, but just trying to figure out what goes where. And I also have to figure out which headlight is out. So hold on. I just had one quick edit for that. <laughs> I was replaying it, trying to figure out what to edit, and realized that it is not in the middle of January, thank God. It is in the beginning of February, which I should know because January is like 374 days long, and I'm always so glad it's February, but that's just where my mind is right now. I just don't even know what time of year it is. Okay, so like I have mentioned before, a lot of my videos I want to really do the whole thing and not assume you know anything just like me so I've loosened the hood up and I'm gonna flip the camera around here if I can figure that out I don't know uh, hold on uh. okay so here's the hood and this one the little lever is right here you'd be surprised how many different types there are and how I like to watch people try to find them. So here's a picture of our beautiful sky today. A huge snowstorm's coming in. So anyway, this is the headlight that's out. The regular beams or the low beams is out right now. So I think if I go back in here, right here should be a little plug and of course this one is wedged in oh, I'm hoping I can just oh yeah Ugh, gross oh okay I wiggled this plug out just popped out I pulled it toward the front or the back of the car and if you can you can't really see but Right there is the headlight. 
So I'm going to attempt to uh, pull it out. I don't know how people with fatter hands do that. Looks like there's this little boot thingy that I have to get off. Okay, so let me think about that for a second. I don't, of course it has to be this one. Ugh. Okay, I'm kind of proud of myself right now because I ran into some problems so I went back Looked at a YouTube video. I had figured out one thing all by myself, which was on the right track, but their setup was a little bit different than mine. So it was tricky, but I just figured out how to do it. So the first thing to do is we have to, we can move this aside. And if you look over here, there's a little button here that we can wiggle this loose and just kind of set it over there. So then you take the plug out here and if I had a better phone there you go you can see the light so I had to now there's like a little rubber boot that's going around that that I had to wiggle off it looks like this so I had to set that aside and now the difference in mine you can see like there's a little wire kind of cage just holding the bulb in there. Okay, sorry about that. My phone died in the middle of us fixing stuff because it's too cold for the battery. And anyway, so let me figure out how to flip this around, which... Uh... Okay, anyway. So, like I was saying, sorry about the wind, this particular model has this little wire cage that's holding the uh, light bulb in. And so you just have to take it on this side, um, and you kind of push the wire in and flip it up. and it springs open and releases the bulb, just like that. Ah, ta-da. So anyway, um, the big thing about putting the new one in is you, do, you wanna avoid touching this because your fingerprints leave oil and it will be more likely to burn out faster. So keep that in mind, a little tip for you. Okay, well, I just put it all back together without recording it, but let me do a quick visual. I wiggled, okay, so I put this boot back on, and then I just had to plug that back in, and I'm good to go. And then don't forget to put this back on, like I almost just forgot, but that just pushes in and locks in and I believe everything's put back together. So there you have it. Pretty simple project, but even YouTube, the video, it said that um, I went ahead and made coffee. While well, my phone was charging, because I'm gonna do a little bit of a drive. Anyway, the YouTube videos that I was looking at said they covered 2001 to 2005 Honda Civics, but it looked a little bit different. And so the moral is that don't do the project like 10 minutes before you're supposed to leave because it might be more challenging than you think. And then you have the pressure of getting it put back together quick, but I did it. The biggest thing now to do is I have to turn it on and see if it works. But anyway, thanks for joining me. It's a shorter one today. And like I said, I don't know what's happening, but either the projects are too big or just too small for us to be looking at right now. But I'm glad that we got a chance to do that. And there's just so many models out there and each one is 
slightly different. Um, so it's kind of fun to see how each one is that different. Well, not really fun, but I don't know why they do that. Anyway, um, I hope that I'll be out of my funk soon of not having anything to fix and not having the energy to fix it. I did find out why I'm so tired all the time. And it's not just from having five kids, which I think is probably the root cause, but I have some thyroid thing going on. So I'm trying this new, well, not new, but I'm trying to be better about eating no grains, no dairy. And so my delicious kind of not really latte, I've had to switch to almond milk. which is almost enough to make me stop wanting to drink coffee altogether, which I did for a couple of weeks just to reset my adrenals, but I don't want to live without coffee. It's just not worth it to me. And so I've been tinkering with what kinds of different alternative milks to use, and I'm actually podcasting some more about paleo movement and stuff, and I know almond milk's not technically that paleo, but like I said, you know, in life, you can really be strict about everything, but I've just decided, I don't know what's on my lip, but anyway, sorry, that there's just some things I don't want to live without, like coffee, um, making my own moonshine, like that kind of thing. So anyway, I digress about fixing things, but I kind of am fixing my body and eating healthy. It's been like 10 weeks and I'm way less tired than I used to be. And I don't know if it's just winter and it's supposed to be like the time of hibernation, but man, lately I've just not, I felt really restless and not had a lot of things happening. So really need to get a move on that, but thanks for joining me and hopefully there'll be a new vlog coming out soon. Thanks. Bye.